please subscribe. Volvo is having some fantastic luck. The Chinese possess Swedish automaker right now handle a convincing scope of vehicles, from the conservative however appropriately premium XC40 hybrid to the sumptuous S90 car to the enjoyment and practical V60 wagon. Its items are upscale, insightfully structured and, as usual, unfathomably sheltered. Sitting at the center of that range is the XC60 utility vehicle. All-inclusive, this multi-purpose item is Volvo's top-of-the-line model. The purposes behind this outstanding showroom achievement are clear from the minute you open an entryway and slide in the driver's seat. The XC60 is extravagant and very much made, with liberal measures of load space, in excess of 63 cubic feet with the back backrest collapsed down. Put this machine moving and it conducts itself with an imperious air, especially the range-beating TATAWD Polestar model, which offers heaps of execution and a harsh driving encounter. Cordial it might watch both all around, yet this hybrid is in any case all business. Like other present-day Volvos, this Polestar altered XC60 is moved to a great extent by a velvety smooth, 2.0-liter, four-chamber motor. All alone, this fuel-consuming unit is fantastically tranquil and disconnected. Truth be told, it's so all-around protected barely any commotion or vibration makes it into the XC60's traveler compartment. This thing does such a heavenly impression of a six-chamber motor, and a decent one at that, most drivers could never realize an insignificant four pots are moving their upscale, Scandinavian hybrid. Helping this little tot pull with force in every driving circumstance is a detailed enlistment framework. A supercharger supports low-speed execution, conveying a solid hit of torque off the line, Yet as speed fabricates, and exhaust gases begin leaving the chambers in enough volume and speed, a turbocharger kicks in to give considerably more lift. Toss direct fuel infusion in with the general mishmash and this motor ought to be useful for 328 pull all alone. Be that as it may, interior burning isn't the main thing rousing this adaptation of the XC60, god help us. That drivetrain is likewise hybridized, with an electric engine giving an extra 87 horses and 177 pound-feet of torque to the back wheels. Include everything up and Volvo engineers have graced this utility vehicle with 415 framework equines and an amazing 494 units of curve. That is sufficient bacon and eggs to rush the XC60 TATAWD Polestar to 60 miles per hour in as meager as 4.9 seconds. Top speed is restricted to 140 miles per hour, however maximum speed drops to 78 miles per hour when running exclusively on electrons, in this way, in case you're in a rush, you would be wise to ensure the gas tank is full. Regarding the matter of fuel, expect around 26 miles for every gallon in city driving, 28 on the roadway and 27 miles per gallon consolidated from the burning motor. Incorporate each one of those gadgets and the XC60 T8 is appraised at 57 psh consolidated, that is miles per gallon proportionate. Squeezing its installed engine is a battery packed with an asserted 9.1 kilowatt long stretches of usable limit. That is sufficient to give a publicized electric just traveling scope of 18 miles. Plug this Volvo into a 230 volt outlet and its battery ought to be completely recharged in 8 hours when squeezed at 6 amps. Discover an attachment that offers 10 amps and that time gets cut down the middle. On the off chance that a 30 amp outlet is helpful, the XC60 can be revived in as meager as 3 hours. As you'd most likely anticipate dependent on its yield figures, this Volvo hurries. The drivetrain is strong, experiencing no difficulty turning the front tires in wet or in any case harsh conditions, its Kilimanjaro of torque making the tires scramble for footing. Not at all like some other hybridized vehicles, the XC60 T8's powertrain is completely consistent. There's no jolting or kicking as it changes from burning to electric force or the other way around. Together, the battery and engine give speeding up help and help recover vitality when it's an ideal opportunity to back things off once more. The entire course of action is absolutely smooth. At the point when its electron store is exhausted, the gas motor is bounty intense and extraordinarily cleaned. Dealing with and directing feel are fine. Right now XC60 is neither poor nor admirable. Ride quality with the discretionary 22-inch, Polestar explicit wheels is firm, however, luckily, not excessively rebuffing. You surely feel surface blemishes, however it won't clatter your false teeth out. This Polestar model is likewise fitted with extravagant Olin's dampers. These safeguards are movable, yet not in the manner in which you may anticipate. Most driver selectable suspension frameworks are controlled from a basic switch inside the vehicle, however not these. 
On every individual damper is a handle that has 22 unique settings. The closer you put them to zero, the stiffer the ride gets. Awkwardly, you need a jack to modify the back handles, in any event as indicated by the proprietor's manual. Better believe it, I don't see numerous Volvo drivers moving underneath their XC60 to screw with the dampers. Those enormous wheels look executioner as well as they're an incredible picture outline for this current model's AK Bona brakes, which are entertainingly huge. In advance, you'll discover six-cylinder calipers bracing down on rotors spreading over 14.6 inches. I totally comprehend the significance of having adequate halting force at your Tootsie's direction, however let's face it, no one is hustling their XC60 on ends of the week, so having Nordsclife appraised covers is gross pointless success and likely an immense cost, both in advance and when it's the ideal opportunity for a brake work. Be that as it may, I surmise in case you will go with extravagant flexible dampers you should have tremendous brakes, as well. In the event that you've looked at any Volvo worked inside, state, the most recent 5 years, the XC60's lodge will be nothing unexpected. Its inside is well known, with top rack materials including Napa cowhive just as aluminum work trims, brilliant form quality and heaps of accommodating highlights. The dashboard's general structure is for the most part level, however its middle stack, and the conspicuous, 9-inch infotainment show it houses, is calculated marginally toward the driver for simpler access. Running between the two front seats is a huge focus comfort. It's home to various significant vehicle controls, including the start change and gear selector. During my week with this Swedish hybrid, at whatever point the time had come to fire the motor up, I generally jabbed the dashboard with my correct forefinger, hung over to peer around the guiding wheel's edge and afterward recollected the switch is quite the reassure. Each. Single. Time. There's nothing amiss with the start's arrangement, it's only difficult for me to abrogate muscle memory. The shifter is situated close to that switch and it, as well, is uncommon. Obviously even Volvo isn't invulnerable to the electronic rigging selector prevailing fashion that has been clearing the car business as it's introduced one in the XC60. To go, for example, into invert or drive you need to unintuitively tap the switch twice. That is two ticks forward for turnaround and a double tap back for drive. What, am I working an engine vehicle or opening an organizer on my PC? Normally, this present Volvo's capacity movable front seats are overly agreeable, similar to the backbench. It's appropriately extensive in every single significant measurement, however a skosh more legroom would be decent for taller travelers, yet this is a minor protest. Gold-shaded safety belts liven up and in any case stark inside, one rendered in dark, charcoal, light dim and silver. I've never been a major fanatic of Volvo's census infotainment framework, yet like barnacles on the body of a boat, it's developing on me. From the start, I discovered this mixed-media arrangement overwhelming, with apparently insane menus, an excessively complex UI and frequently laggardly execution. As my commonality with Census has developed, I've come to really like it, this framework simply has an expectation to learn and adapt that is more extreme than the dividers of El Capitan. Normally, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are prepared right and like chocolate contributes a biscuit. Route is likewise installed in the Polestar Altered XC60's infotainment framework. A 12.3-inch advanced instrument bunch is likewise included. It's expansive and brilliant, yet a portion of the controls in that are bewildering. Working pieces of the versatile journey control framework are trying from the start, likewise for a portion of different menus for the outing PC. Normally, since this is a Volvo, it's protected and accompanies heaps of security improving highlights. My analyzer is fitted with low and fast impact relief innovation, a street flight avoidance framework, vulnerable side observing with back cross traffic alert, stopping help and that's just the beginning. Versatile LED headlamps light the way, while different treats including a force lift gate, a head up show, in vehicle Wi-Fi, warmed washer spouts and sprayers for the headlamps just as programmed high shafts are completely included. PC controlled headlamps are constantly an extraordinary comfort giving additional perceivability around evening time without blinding different drivers. Be that as it may, Volvo's usage of this innovation isn't exactly as responsive as frameworks from different automakers, for example, Honda, Nissan or Ford. In my testing, it appears to be increasingly slow less ready to recognize approaching traffic, which was a bit of baffling. On the in addition to side, Volvo's Bowers & Wilkins sound framework is truly astounding, with 1100 watts of tympanic film stimulating force conveyed through 15 speakers. This course of action can make even exceptionally packed satellite radio sound not too bad, and that is an achievement. Similarly as with about any exceptional item, the Volvo XC60 TATAWD Polestar ain't modest. 
The unit tried here rings up at $73,490. That Porsche equaling absolute is cushioned by an insignificant two alternatives, metallic paint for $645 and the previously mentioned wheels, which look at an apparently sensible $800. A goal charge of $995 balances that entirety. The XC60 is positively a stunning bit of car work, with heaps of style, innovation and usefulness, in addition to enough great taste to compensate for any deficiencies. Be that as it may, is it worth almost $75,000? I can't resist the urge to feel it isn't.